God bless you. We bless the rhythm of God. My name is Chris, Pastor Chris of Body of Christ Ministry, and I'm here with my wife, Pastor Funke. This is Changing the Unchangeable, where God will rock wonders and miracles and change the unchangeable even in your lives in Jesus' name. Tonight is your night. We believe tonight the King of Glory, yes. He will meet you at the very point of your name. Yes. Whatever is challenging your faith, tonight is your night of miracle. Yes. Tonight is the Lord, He cannot change, but you know what? He will change, change. every situation mm. for the best. Yes. Tonight is your night of visitation. Yeah. Watch, Watch this. this. God bless. Psalm 40 verses 1 to 3 and we read together. 1, 2. I waited patiently for the Lord. He unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my goings. And he has put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it and fear and shall so come. There will be issues to deal with. You think I don't have issues to deal with? Oh, there are plenty. Oh. No, it's true. There are plenty. But I've made up my mind. I will see the end of my problems. Hey, thank you. Say amen for me. I will see the end of my problems. That is why don't focus on your problem. I put here, focus on Jesus and hear me well. Everybody look up. Look at me now. I said focus on Jesus. Say it with me. That means don't focus on servants of God. It's true, God can use us. So thank God for the hand of God over our lives. But without God, we cannot do anything. I know some people, their, their focus is on pastors. And as you, you see, they keep running around. I tell people, when you are running around, it is unbelief. As long as where you are, God is being called there. You don't have to run out that scouter. When you begin to run out that scouter, you are saying your focus is on man. Don't focus on servants of God. You know, especially we Africans, we know how to idolize pastors. I'm not saying pastors are your rank. Because the office makes the difference. But the thing is, don't idolize pastors. Some people will not pray. <laughs> I don't have to pray. By the time I get to service, by the time another guy will be screaming, and the husband will be saying his own quietly. Sorry. And they will be laying hands. God has answered. Thank God for that. But what about your own faith? Where is your focus? Because if care is not taken, if care is not taken, when we focus on pastors, and that's some people, they don't have prayer life. They don't pray. They don't read Bible. All they are looking for is, servant, help me to pray. Help me to see. What can you see? I'm going to do that. Some people, if they come to us, tell them, I can see woe. No, it's true. Because when I look at some lives, what do you want me to see? Serve God. You don't want to serve God. And you're asking me, what can you see? What can help me to see, see what? Don't get me wrong. The prophetic is for the edification of the church. For the perfecting of the saints. But you see, we must not idolize these things. Anybody can re receive any message. It's all about what you do about it. Like one pastor said, when somebody will give you a good message, you need to now go and begin to fast. Because when God says, I will do this, the pit of hell will be standing too. I will make sure it will not come to pass. So it is now what you now do. But some people, all they are running around to do, if they have to have their shoes and put it on their head, what can you see? What can you see? What can you see? What can you see? Like somebody phoned the pastor, and the person needed deliverance. And the person said, well, what you've just said, somebody told me, but one pastor told me that we can do deliverance on the phone. Paul said, eh. Hey. And the pastor said, so how much did you pay the pastor? The woman couldn't answer. Some people will be paying people to pray. Help me to fast. Help me to pray. Maybe you don't know if you pay anybody to fast for you. They have just used your money to buy a new shoe. Or a new bag. Or the latest watch in town. Your focus must be on God. That is when you wake up at night, you have a dream. Don't be looking for our number. Do you know 
I feel disgusted when somebody will call me three o'clock in the morning. And somebody called me, I think from a few days ago. Three o'clock. Normally I switch up my phone when I'm going to bed. Because I'm a human being, I need to sleep too. I'm not one of the people that say, uh, 24 hours, so call me. It's a lie. If you come to five hours, you can't get me. No, it's true. It's true. And this person called me three o'clock, a man. I said, hello? You know I was sleeping. And you can imagine I would speak like a real Nigerian. Say, hello, who is this? Calling me three o'clock in the morning. The person pretended and said, oh, sorry, wrong number. I said, it better be wrong number. And I'm sure maybe the person just have one dream like this. Will not allow me to sleep. So I don't dream too. So if I dream, who do I call? I phone Benny. Uh, if I phone Benny, if I phone the other, they will say, "Sorry, we will not be able to. Uh, we, we will not be able to take your call. Leave your number and your f and what and what and your name. I will get back to you. Uh, as, thank you as soon as possible. They are just being. Thank you. They are just being nice. Say neighbor." Focus on God. You see, when you focus on God, that will determine how you will serve God. Can I be honest with you? I hate hypocrites. Yes, so, I cannot imagine somebody running because I'm around. The pastor is around. <laughs> and when I'm not there, you're doing your own thing. Somebody say, focus on God. And actually, I just put in here, write it down, John 5. If you know that story very well, in John 5, the Bible says there were important folks at the pool of bed cedar, or bed cider, sick, lame, out, impotent, whatever, they were there. And the Bible says, if you notice, if you, if, if you go on board a bit, it says they were all moving for the, um, actually, they were all waiting for the moving of the water. The Bible says an angel of God will come once a year to move the water. And when the angel of God will move the water, whoever will stop him first will be healed. If you noticed, it just came to me when I was doing this message. I've been preparing this message. The Bible says they were waiting for the moving of the water. They were waiting for the angel. Excuse me, oh. Between God, an angel, and water, who is more important? And that's why that important man that was there for 38 years, for 38 years, he was focusing on an angel and the moving of the water. And so many have been focusing on God. Maybe he would have been healed. Even when Jesus came, he took grace for him to be healed. Because this... Because the guy was focusing on the moving on the water and on the angel. Who created angel? Who created water? So when the king of glory, when the healer, when the great I am, when they got on the scene, Jesus asked him, do you want to be made oh? Ah, I know where I am, my Lord. Maybe you don't know. I've been here for 38 years. You know, do you, God, you know the Bible, they don't write everything. Jesus said, I'm sure God will say, Jesus will say, shut up. Shut up. I only ask you a question. Do you want to be made whole? Out of mercy. That man received this miracle. If not for the mercy of God, the man would have died in his problem. Because his focus was on angel and the moving of the water. And when the king of glory, when the healer got on the scene, he couldn't recognize him. But thank God for grace. Ask your neighbor, where is your focus? Thank God we don't do counseling after service anymore. You know, some people's focus, they, it was just on counseling. By the time they finish service, all I have to do is just walk in 10 minutes to 2 or 10 minutes to 1. And there will be this long queue. And I trust them. They will spend another two hours laying hands. One day I said, if one is going the way we are going, one will soon die. <laughs> it's true. Because after, if maybe I said, oh, I don't sleep on time, I sleep 3 o'clock, I wake up 5 o'clock, and pastor is not around, and then I will minister, 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 and after service, so, and I say, please, all of you, oh, go home, oh, I'm tired, oh. <laughs> one 
mommy, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. You know, with high heels, and they will kill you. Hang on, my second book in Jesus' name. Come on, come on, come on. Mind you, those ones, so they have not actually come for service, so they've only come for counseling. You know, the day we stopped counseling, Sunday counseling, only two seats came, two rows. I said, hey, Chineke, it don't happen. Well, this is, this is God's church. No, it's true. Because they were only for counseling. And you know what? You know me, I have a big mouth in a way. When I went for Benny's meeting, and I saw one of those ladies, because the way God will do it, the day she, and the last day she came, was the day we announced, no counseling. And unfortunately for her, she came with two people. No, she came with somebody. And she left. So I now show her Benny. Oh, sis, how are you? Ah, how come you don't go to POC anymore? Ah, you see, you know I have problems. And I was only coming for counseling. And since you have stopped counseling, that's why I stopped coming. I say, hey, God bless you. And do you know there and then in Excel, she wanted to be taking my time. I say, you take my time? 11 o'clock at night. I say, anyway, we'll see later. God, she wanted to be telling me. Uh, I say, hey, you, see, you know what? We'll see later. Bye-bye. I say, only... <laughs> Time waster. Say focus on God. Number four. What do you need to do while you are waiting? Number four. Run after God. Number four. Run after God. That is seek God. Seek God. Run after God. Stop running after men and women of God. Run after God. That is seek God. Jeremiah 29, 13. He says, ye shall seek me and find me. That is God speaking. God says we should seek him. The Bible says we will find him. And I'll put a small note here. In case you are writing notes. Three ways to seek God. As we keep saying, seek God, seek God, seek God. Three ways, three ways to seek God. Number one. Number one. Hey. Seek him early. Somebody say, Seek God early. Run after God early. I keep telling people, don't allow your problem to become an oak tree. Oak is oak, isn't it? You know, oak is what? Oak. Hey, hey, you know, oak. Oak. Oak as in oak, oak tree. Big, big tree. If somebody's problem is like this, why not seek God early? Before the thing will be like this. I'm talking about what must you do while waiting. You must seek God. And one of the ways you need to seek God is seek him early. Don't leave your issues until it's late. Like when I was writing the message last night, I said I can imagine somebody who is 75 years old, a woman who will now call a petition. Please come to my house. How much do they paint somebody's face? America, how much? Eh? How much? 40. Thank you. You do it. It's good. I let them know now. Say, hey, please. So, the person is 75 years old, though. A woman looking for husband. Please, I'll pay you 80 pounds. Come and fix my. And if somebody is 75, even as a black woman, if, you are, if the person is white, ah, trouble. You know, they have to. No, it's true. They have to do a little bit of surgery. But you know, black, you don't do surgery. Let's, say, let's assume now, a black person, 75. Say, please, I'll pay you 80 pounds, double. Paint me from head to toe. Put all the colors. This one, can you put first one on this? I think you can. You put pencil, isn't it? Uh -huh. Say, oh, no, don't use one pound one, no. You know, American one is about 12 pounds. No, it's true. I said, those ones, where you put it? From morning till now, the thing will be there. But the one pound, when you do this, the thing will move. This one is one pound one. <laughs> and the man will say, don't use the one from the market for me, or use the 12 pounds one. You know those ones, really, when you put the thing like this, the thing will stay all, 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 all day. You now say, please, this, you know this one is white, it's gone. Put a, eh, a mascara for 75 for wear. Mascara will not work. Artificial. You know this one that will stand like that. Ma eh? <laughs> 